everybody. I'm going to do a quick review on this knife. And I know it's going to seem kind of weird, but I'm going to go do some destructive stuff. Because I just got this. This is the First Edge Tanto Automatic. Check that out. LMAX Steel. Now this was the one that was being sold or represented over on a different guy's channel. I don't want to mention his name because I don't want him to get upset with me. All right, it was survival on purpose. It was him. He recommended this. I bought a couple of them, and now I'm going to see if they're worthy. They're not much to look at as far as nothing really sparkly or shiny. They got kind of a weird opening system, which is really easy to use. But I'm going to go see if it's, it's usable. It's workable and what we can do to this thing. I'm not going to pry it into anything to snap that tip off like it's been done before. We all know it's a little weak up there. But it's not a pry bar. Let's go see what it does. A little heavy action with the blade. All right, let's go. Let's see what kind of edge this thing has on it from the get-go. It just goes through this kind of cardboard stuff really easily. So that's what we're looking at from the get-go. It does have, let me check here, make sure. Yeah, that'll shave you. So it has a shaving edge on it. Now let's see how it will work in the hands of somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. All right, here we go. Let's just see how it's gonna cut through stuff. Kind of trying to shave it much more than just chop it and coming down on the top of it like I usually do. So I'm gonna check this out. See how long I can do this without falling over dead. All right, let's go this way a little bit. Move that hand if you still want to keep it, sir. Is that still on camera? Yeah. All right, there's. <laughs> There's nothing going on with that blade. Well, let's see if the mechanism still works. Yeah, just like it was a second ago. Now, I don't know how much work this represents actually. I'm just trying to get an idea what this blade can do. And look at all the leverage that short blade and this fantastic grip gives you. I mean, ugh. this knife is not frilly at all this isn't this is a microtech with the claw on it and it's not anything sparkly or anything if you saw this somewhere you wouldn't think it was anything until you pull it out and realize the thing is locked up like a vault and it's got LMAX steel in it and just taking a excellent beating on this this hard hard wood here I mean there's nothing going on there let me check and see if we can find some hair to shave on my arms yeah just took the hair right off my arm there you go this thing is still shaving let's get some cardboard shall we Alright, let's see what we can do here. The leverage on this knife is amazing. The leverage you get with that short blade and that grippy handle is insane. The reason I'm telling you guys about this knife it is $99. I don't know if they have any left. I'll check. But this thing will just... Cut, cut, cut. It's just cutting and cutting and slicing right there. There's no resistance because of the way this thing is made. That short little blade is not putting any pressure out on a tip that's going to bend your wrist. You get everything in there on that forearm straight. And you got a lot of leverage. It's awesome. 
if you're doing anything with cutting like this or that needs cutting and leverage like that, I don't know what you're gonna be cutting to be honest. But anything that's like this, I don't even know if this is getting on camera. This is talking myself into getting another one. Holy cow. It just feels good. I haven't cut cardboard with anything that feels this good. And it just is not dull at all. It wants to puncture through stuff. So, I don't know. Of course, a puncture is just like a monster. So there you go. Did a little bit of testing on this thing. Let's see if what else we can cut. Hold on one second. All right, I got this old set of speakers. Let's see if I can cut through this electrical plug outlet wire thingy. Yeah, that's a nice thick one too. Let's get some, get this on camera, see if we can do this. Ah. Ah. It is not cutting through that. Oh no, it is. All right, it's cutting through, hold on. There we go. Check that out. Holy crap, that's, that's like, some wiring in there and whatnot. So good job cutting that. Let's see if we can chop through it. Chop. Let's chop through it again. Get over there. You're gonna die. You know it. Accept your fate. Chop. So let's see how sharp we're going here. Look, no chips. No rolls, I don't think. Any rolls? Nothing. All right, let's see what else we can cut. All right, what I'm gonna do, now this thing is made for stabbing, not prying. So I'm gonna stab it into this wood, but I'm not gonna pry it, so let's see if that works. I mean, that's stabbed pretty, pretty deep. Any tip? No damage. No damage to that tip. Can we see that? Yeah. No damage. As long as you're not using this as a pry bar, if you're gonna stab something with it, like an elephant or something, it's gonna work very well. All right, let me see what else I can find. Okay, let's see here. Couldn't find anything else to cut that really makes sense. I mean, we could try some some 550, but you know that's child's play. Let's check out this edge and see where it's standing right now. Let's grab a excellent coupon. What are we gonna get this time? Ooh, RockAuto.com. Fantastic. In case you want some stuff done to your rocking auto. There we go. Let's try it. Look at that. I whack, I whack that maple so hard. Look at that. That's nothing. I didn't touch this up or anything. That's insane. I'm telling you guys, I have no interest in buying this knife. I mean, as far as I don't get any money, I I get nothing from this besides satisfaction of knowing y'all got a killer knife, and this is a killer knife. Yeah. L Max steel, three inches of blade. What is that? About two inches, a little bit over two inches of that first edge there. It's about two and a quarter. And then a good inch of that Tanto side. And it just gives you a ton of leverage. That's what I like about this. It reminds me of that DPS heat that I have. Just a little bit of blade, but enough grip to just get in there. Like I said, it's not pretty. It's got super grippy G10. It's got a really interesting locking system. You see that button there? You pull it back. Oh, hold on. Ow, I got my blister stuck. All right, so you pull it back and then you just push it forward and it comes in. You can do it one-handed. You can do it left-handed. If you're left-handed and you need to do this, you can do it. But the thing is, if you're getting this to be a Flipper type of fidget toy. It's probably not the best one you can get. There are different flipper fidgets you can get. You can get a Ganzo flipper fidget. 
But if you're getting something that you're going to take out and use at work, and I don't care what kind of work you do, this thing will be useful. Unless prying pallets is your job. If prying into pallet wood is your job, I wouldn't use this. But just about anything else, I mean, this thing cuts all kinds of angles. I love it. I'm getting another one as soon as I stop this video. So if there's another one y'all want, y'all should go check. Let me check right now and see what they got. They might not have any. I'm going to check real quick before I post this video and, and neener neener you guys. Okay. I was just able to order one. So it looks like they have some left. I'll call today when they wake up over there in California just to make sure. But $99 free shipping and you get a workhorse of a knife. Like I said, it's only right side tip up carry. It's not a great looking knife. It's, but as far as just being able to get out there and get some stuff done, this thing is awesome. So there you go. I'm sorry, I, this is two videos in the same night. It's crazy, but I wanted y'all to check this out with me and get out there before somebody else does. So like here, subscribe here. Let me know what you think. Did y'all get one of these on that sale? Remember about a year ago, these things were 300 bucks. And then First Edge dropped them to 199 and then Survival on Purpose, he got them to drop them for a super sale and after they modified the, the tip a little bit. But holy heck, if you treat this thing with some kind of respect where you realize it's not a pry bar, this thing is going to last forever. This is a monster. And they have really good customer service over there. They must have hit me about three or four times. Telling me that my stuff is coming, it's been shipped, here's your tracking number. So, I would, if you got an idea that you want a working automatic kind of blade, that thing seems awesome. And look, I, I, even if I banged on that thing, there's no play on this at all. So, just a great working auto. And check it out, and I'll talk to you later.